Hey guys, Ned here. Uh, today I decided that I should add a Z-Adjust motor to my router for my Maslow CNC project. And I got the uh, Bosch POF 1200A, which doesn't have a height adjust, fine adjust on it. But the model up from it does, the 1400 does, and most of the parts are actually in here. And it normally sits in here. So what I've done is started off by uh, you remove a couple of screws back here and then the top of the body pops off and you can remove all of the height adjust gear that's in here because you don't need that anymore then down in there is a hollow shaft that pops out so I just printed a 3D I just made a 3D printed plug that goes on there it's still hollow and it has one of these brass nuts on it for an Acme screw and just screwed into the plastic and then that's all for there and then this lid goes back on. So this is where the seat adjust normally sits. And then I have this motor here that comes with the kit. And the coupler, I think this is actually a different coupler. And this is an Acme screw that I happen to have lying around. That's probably where the coupler came from. And I printed a little mount that will sit on here. And that will do the seat adjust. Let me just... Uh, put some screws in it and put it back together and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so with that in place, um, you might be able to tell here, this is where the original knob would normally go. Um, this model, the 1200, had a cap on it. Normally there would be a knob for fine adjust. And what I've done is on the 3D printed part, there's just a, uh, a circle that locates in there. And then two little dowels that locate into the screw holes. And that stops it from rotating. So let me just put it in. Alright, so as you can tell, these dowel holes are just going to line up with here. And now that's all in. Let's uh, get a bit of a better view. Let's try that. We kind of have it all in view and shot now. So there's the uh, the motor and the coupling. This little 3D printed mount that just stops the motor from rotating because it's dialed in over there. Then it's actually the coupling that presses on this 3D printing that presses on the body that's going to pull the whole body down. And the nut inside that tube is attached to the base. So we're basically just going to bring the base and the body closer together. So if I go and turn the motor on, you can see that it starts pulling it down. And it's about all the way down there. And then when we reverse the motor around, it'll come back up. And the spring in the base is what pushes it back up. Because it can actually still, you can freely push it down still. And there we go back up to the top. Just like that. So there you can see the, the depth gauge. So it's set at zero, which is in this case is actually all the way up because I've just got it loose in here, touched off the bottom. And it'll move all the way up to about 40 millimeters before it bottoms out. So we'll give it a run. So it moves at a nice pace. There you go, 40 mil of travel, no problem. Now I've just got to go and put the rest of the frame together so I can actually get this Maslow cutting. Alright guys, thanks for watching. See you later.